this is the most delusional YouTuber on the platform. The tone that she had with me behind the scenes was very much accusing. A few vague threats were thrown in there. I was rightfully broken and disgusted that so many people could say, so you want to try me, try me, Josh, okay? We're all sitting here thinking, Illuminati, when are you going to be done? Well, hopefully it's today because uh, I've made like three videos on this and I'm starting to feel sick of it in my balls. That doesn't make sense. If you haven't seen my last video, go and check it out because in this video, we're going to be talking about Illuminati and her legal strategy to silence everyone. Uh, yeah, it's been ridiculous. It's all over the place. Whoa, what's happened? I've changed clothes. I must be magic. So I filmed this video originally and then I saw some things going around on Twitter under the hashtag Illuminati hashtag that Blair's ex-boyfriend has come out and exposed her. Oh boy, this is gonna get good. And as we speak, 20 minutes ago, Sensitive Society released his video. And let me just say, that guy's a G, all right? For the first time in my life, I'm gonna say that I'm a fan of someone. But we're gonna speak about what her ex-boyfriend had to say, because he really revealed a lot about her that we didn't know. And we even have an opportunity to see what Blair sounds like when she's talking to people behind the scenes. And it's the most disgusting, toxic behavior I've ever seen in my life. So you'll see me, future Curtis, in about seven minutes time where we're gonna talk about all this lovely drama that's happened. Now, back to past Curtis. If I'm in the mood, I'll do this cool, like, back-in-time transition if I can't be arsed. I'll so this all started off last week when she decided to send a cease and desist letter after Wonderstruck released his video talking about his experiences. But of course, the great Illuminati didn't like that. So she tried everything in her power to silence him. Kind of like the real Illuminati is. Starting to line up a little bit here. It's so ironic that her channel is based around conspiracies, but... The way her brain works is the biggest conspiracy. Tell you what, Illuminati, right? Why don't you make a video? The Brain of Illuminati Conspiracy. And Wonderstruck's YouTube video was basically just talking about how his experiences were, how bad Illuminati was, and how manipulative and just a total piece of crap she was. It was kind of strange at the time why she only sent one to Wonderstruck. She didn't kind of send one to The Click or anybody else. So we were a bit confused by that. Until this day, Aussie Media was the second person to face Blair's wrath. And he hasn't even made a video. Hasn't even said anything about the situation. <laughs> See what I mean now by Blair's brains, like a conspiracy. Now we are going to be talking about that, but let's talk about Wondershare's legal fees that he has to pay for, because he decided to start up a GoFundMe so he doesn't have his voice silenced. And the community came together and started raising money. Let's take a look at that. $18,155 raised. I've got a lawsuit coming up. I need funding. Link in the description. Roughly a month had passed without an update on the situation. That was until three days ago when I received a cease and desist letter demanding that legal action would be taken against me if I did not remove my response and Twitter threat. That's what the world's come to, ladies and gentlemen. You're posting on Twitter and you're gonna get a legal document through the emails. Legal fees come with expenses. Expenses I'm willing to pay to have my voice heard, along with others who have spoken out. Well, you're not willing to pay because you started a GoFundMe, so everyone else can pay for you. So, yeah. If you're on this channel, you're gonna get stick, whether you're the suspect or the victim. So get fucked, Wonderstruck. I'm joking, I'm just messing about. Don't cancel my channel. But you're probably wondering, you know, Illuminati, you know, what's happened? How is she gonna fund the lawsuit? Well, if we look at her channel right now, she went from averaging 300k views a video to only averaging 20 and 40 and 60k. Basic numbers. So watch my videos so I can get my views up so I'm not basic anymore, right? So she's gonna need some funding. So what you been doing? Well, she's been... This is what I came across recently. Fan art of the Illuminati character showing her feet. So you know, yeah? Bring bringing some revenue in with that. I know it's cursed, all right, but you have to understand. Sometimes you have to resort in monetizing your cartoon character's naked body. It just happens sometimes. And at this point, we thought, ah, it's done now. You know, she hasn't sent a letter to anyone else. It must just be Wonderstruck. So why? Why just Wonderstruck? Well, she's kind of releasing it kind of like a, like Netflix episodes are released, you know, once a week. So on the second week, it was Aussie Media. Aussie Media tweeted out, So Illuminati has officially sent me a cease and desist. Best part is, she cites parts of videos which I had no part in and demands I make a public apology. So the best part about all this is, is that 
Aussie media hasn't actually said anything and he needs to make a public apology. <laughs> That's like Dave dropping a glass of water on the floor and telling Jeff to apologize for it. I mean, what planet are you living on? You know, it's not this planet, that's for sure. Aussie Media has never released a public statement and Illuminati says you need to apologize. So I suggest you take the public humiliation and apologize for nothing. He said here, I haven't even made a video yet with a laughing cry in uh, the... <laughs> Wonderstruck then responded and they just keep coming. Could just be me, but sending a cease and desist to the one person who has yet to release their video is highly suspicious. We won't be silenced. Like I said in my last video, Illuminati could just be AI at this point. Like I, I said it, you know. AI can get things wrong, you know, like weird mistakes that doesn't make sense to humans. And this is a mistake that, well, to be fair, not even AI could make sense of. Like you'd think you'd send a cease and desist to click, but no, it was OZ Media, the only guy who hasn't responded yet. So ah, this is just comedy gold right here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna go to bed tonight with a smile on my face that this has happened today because by far the best news I've heard all day is this. And her channel is clearly over. I mean, it's clearly done. She's just grasping her straws at this point. If she just made a video apologizing, I imagine none of this would have happened. Like if she just came out and said, look, okay, I'm gonna be honest, I fucked up. But no, we're on planet Earth, everyone. We have to remember that. This place is a shit show. The Click only released a video because you made a video insinuating that he's a paedophile by allowing some groomer into his server. You started all this, but I'm sorry, but you created the fire around you. And clearly, Blair is just a one-man army. Unless she's AI, of course, then she's infinite. But Look at some of the responses to Aussie Media's tweet. Repsion said, I really hope you show her in a video, lol. Folks need to see how unprofessionally dumb she is being. She ain't too bright. But my favourite one yet is what The Click said. The guy's a comedy genius, alright? He said, After playing Minecraft, I thought you couldn't dig yourself past bedrock. I stand corrected. <laughs> Get burnt. Where's the light? I need one. Get burnt, Illuminati. Get burnt. You suck. <laughs> Comment down below what you think of this monstrosity that is Illuminati because at this point, uh, I'll be honest with you, I feel like it's going to end, but then it doesn't. There's always something else, you know? It's fucking brilliant. So week one was Wonderstruck. Week two was Aussie Media. Who's going to be in week three? I know who. The Click. That's who it's going to be. It's ironic that Illuminati try to expose people and when they make a response video, she's trying to put a cease and desist at everyone. Like just for saying their opinions and what kind of person she was when they were hanging out together and that kind of thing. Slam to the cease and desist. You're not allowed to talk. That's fucking bollocks, right? I mean, what the, f what the fuck are we doing here then? Yeah, if we can't even voice our opinion, what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> so here's my opinion. Illuminati, I think you suck. Oh God, what have I just done? Oh my God, we're back. You're in the future. Welcome. Illuminati drama is still going on, by the way. So Blair's ex-boyfriend has come out four years ago. So he was the first one, really. He was the first one to start all this. He came out four years ago and spoke about his experiences with Blair. And he starts off the video by saying that she tried to dox him, bully him, uh, tried to threaten his channel, uh, even tried to get him doxed. Did I say that already? Now, he actually recorded a phone call he had with Illuminati. Their ex-boyfriend, you know, let her know that he has a recording and he was going to release it. And well, this is what he had to say. Illuminati called my home phone to avoid a block that I have set up on my cell phone to threaten me for possessing audio of her, which you will hear and have heard in this recording so far. After she was informed that I had shared the audio anonymously, she ominously wished me luck and then posted on Twitter that she would be hiring a lawyer. Her recent actions have also included threats against my channel, intimidation through threats of Melissa's prosecution. Hiring a lawyer, bloody hell, man. First time we've heard that in this drama, isn't it? Seriously, do you have any other abilities? Do you have any other special moves or anything? Or is it just threatening people with legal action to keep them silent? And you wished him luck. Well, it's lucky that you did wish him luck because the luck played in his favor. And now you're, you're going down, Illuminati. You're, you're done. When are you going to realise that this is over? Alright? <laughs> You're over. And clearly you try to threaten your ex-boyfriend to keep him silent, as you have done with other people, except this time it didn't work, did it? Because you threatened Wonderstruck and Aussie Media. But yet it still continues. People keep coming out. People keep slating you with the truth. 
You're done. I mean, look at some of these text messages that were sent between them. Their ex-boyfriend said, You are blocked on my phone. I request that you do not ever again attempt to contact me. If you dox my person, I go or there will be a lawsuit. Okay, let's keep this in mind, everyone, right? Illuminati said, If you dox me, insinuating her ex-boyfriend is attempting to dox her, there will be a lawsuit, okay? He says in the response, I would never dream of revealing your address. I have never, nor would I ever, reveal information that could be harmful to your person. You know that. I continued to express that I did not want to receive any communication from her and to please leave me alone. She, however, continued to message me throughout the day, including the aforementioned threat about the audio that I obtained. Unfortunately, once I told her to leave me alone again, she seemed to have taken this as a call to battle. I discovered that she was spreading around her Discord server that I intended to release intimate photographs sent during our time together. I- Oh my- Yo, my brain's melting right now. Be, what the shit's going on, man? I, I, I'm a, it, Where am I? So because your ex-boyfriend had something on you, like a recording of you being completely toxic, which we're gonna look at, because he had that on you, you decided, oh my god, my image, people are gonna see what I'm really like. I gotta make up some lies about him and, and try to say that he was trying to release my nudes. <laughs> yeah, rip, my camera died, so we're gonna do voiceover. <laughs> so Blair's ex-boyfriend told her that there was this person trying to dox him, and she said that she was gonna make a video on this person, you know, to do justice for her boyfriend. But no, ladies and gentlemen, of course not. Illuminati decided to side with this toxic person who is a doxer. Apparently they were working together like two best buddies and she would exchange his personal information to this doxer as if it was some sort of business deal. I was saddened to be informed by my friends that she had joined a Warcraft 3 Discord server solely for the purpose of providing and exchanging personal information with this extremely dangerous and unstable individual. And what you're about to hear next, ladies and gentlemen, just listen to the disgusting tone that Illuminati has. Listen how horrible she is treating her ex-boyfriend. It is disgusting the way she speaks and is so disrespectful. I cannot wait to show you guys this. Let me know in the comments what you think. And to be honest with you, I would never be friends with someone like Blair. She's too much for me, and I would seriously just tell her to fuck off within seconds of meeting her. I messaged you one time, okay, just to clarify that I didn't want a bunch of fucking discussion. I didn't, all I wanted was a yes or no question to answer. That was it, and I feel like I spread out my requests really well. And then, like, one message after that, you go and you start posting shit on Twitter, and it just didn't make sense where, to me. I where did I say I anything? Why you did that. After, after the breakup, huh? Where did I say anything? The first time I've said something is today. On Twitter, Blair. I've said nothing. I have seen your fucking Twitter, and the bullshit you've been spewing on there. So if you want to fucking try me, try me, Josh, okay? I'm confused because you came to me on Discord about the Liam thing. I immediately got you an answer, and then I asked you a simple yes or no question. Were you talking ill of me to other content creators? I even said I didn't think you were. It was just... The answer is no. no I don't understand But now it's you dodged it. Now it might change to a yes because now I'm going to have to protect my ass because you want to fucking come at me sideways. And, you know, I do just want to say that it is fucking kind of funny that you accused me of wanting to do it for money and that I didn't really like the content. And then here you are saying that you're bored and trapped by the content you make. I just... It's I, about the boredom, I'm, you fucking okay. asshat. Look, Blair, I'm not saying that I was angry about the breakup, okay? I'm not. I think that it was good for both of us. What I'm saying is that I was angry about the fact that you were the one who proposed a collaboration. And then as soon as I was ready and put all this effort into it, you just kind of shut me down. And in one night, you just went through so many insecurities and told me streaming wasn't going to work. And then in the same night, also shut down the collaboration, which was something that was supposed to help us both. It just seemed- So it had nothing to do with the fact that I go, oh, I'm moving, I'm busy, I'm doing shit. And it, every single day, the only thing you had to ask me is, when are we collabing? When are we collabing? When are we collabing? And it's like, oh, you're treating me like a fan, Blair. I'm like, well, perhaps, Josh, you should have stopped acting like one. How about you shut the fuck up, Illuminati? We don't want to hear you talk anymore. It's like putting your fingernails down on a chalkboard. So that is the kind of person Illuminati is. The way she talks behind the scenes just says a lot about her character. Completely completely disrespectful, completely disgusting, and toxic behavior. Then you come at me with a threat of fucking legal action over, again, things that are 100% completely true. I'm sorry if you don't want them discussed, but I'm tired of having you slander my fucking name. I'm done with, I'm fucking done with you. Because God knows why, because you're bitter about a fucking breakup because your cash cow fucking left you. Like, fuck off, Josh. I don't even know why I sound surprised, but I just am for some reason. I didn't think it would be that bad. Like, I didn't think she would talk that disgustingly to someone, even if it is your ex-boyfriend. You know, I would never dream of speaking to someone like that. I mean, if they piss me off, yeah, I'm gonna be fucking pissed off. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them to fuck off. But she just sounds so like, 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 like such a, she just sounds like such a psychopath when she talks. I'm just, I'm just over it at this point. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah, I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh, 